Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to take a look at the free to use 3D modeling application Magical Voxel which can be downloaded from GitHub and in this video we are going to make a pickaxe. So let's go ahead and delete the default shape that's made when you open Magical Voxel. So typical soft key for Windows, Control A to select all and then the delete key to delete. So now we need like a crescent top to this. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the circle brush. So remember, there's six brushes, but three modes. Circle brush, attach mode, and then choose a color. We're going to use like a medium gray. And then just start somewhere around the center. And then just draw up. And now what we're going to do, we're going to use the same tool, but in erase mode to get rid of most of this. So we're going to click on erase. So again, same brush, the circle brush, but in erase mode. And what we're going to do is you don't want these to be concentric. So you want to start a little bit south of this, a little bit below this. Why? Well, because what we want is we don't want the top to be erased, but we want the bottom to be completely erased. And then we want the corners to be somewhere in between because this should have like a crescent shape. So start like, say, three or four. And then here you go. So let's click on V. Erase that dot, and you can decide if you want to tweak this a little bit, like maybe the corners come out a little bit too much, want it a little bit more pointy, or a little bit more blunt one way or the other. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we want this to be thicker. In fact, we want it to be five thick. So we're going to click on facing, we're going to click on attach, and just one, two, three, four. It was already one, so that's five. And then we are going to draw the handle. So we're going to click on box. We're going to choose a brown color. And we're already in attach mode. So just going to draw that out three. Or two. If we do two, actually that is three. Good. That way it's centered. You've got the same space on both sides. Depends how precise you want to be. Now what we're going to do, we're going to click on facing and we're going to raise this up. So we want this to be three thick. So one, two, three. So why did I add three if we already had one? Because we're going to erase the bottom one. So erase. Again, it's facing tool and erase. So we have a nice centered handle. So what you can do if you want, you can make this round-ish. You can like delete the edges, the four corners, making it a little bit round-ish. So if you want to do that, you leave it as a race, you choose line, and then you just erase. Again, obviously you can use different proportions on yours. I'm using a 40 by 40 by 40, so if you had to start with a bigger size, then you could make the handle even bigger, like make maybe rather than be three by three could have been five by five and you could get a more circular kind of shape there we go now i think the handle is a little bit short so the good news you're not stuck with this size you can actually increase this so let's change this to 50. now we're going to move the whole thing up so we do that by grabbing the tool the move tool and then depending on which direction you're looking at this we're looking at this down so we could move this left and right or up and down if we wanted to move it up we'd have to look at it this way so we'll just move this up and then what we're going to do is we can use the facing tool to bring the handle out so we'll click on facing attach still brown there you go and just like that, you have yourself like a pickaxe. But I want this to be a little bit more detailed because this is really blunt. So what we can do is just as this is tapered, it comes in left and right. We can do that up and down too. Takes a little bit more work, but it is certainly doable. So what we're gonna do, we're going to use the V tool so we can do this freehand. We're gonna go to erase. And then what you can do is you can just start erasing. And this is a little bit reminiscent of 3D Builder. 
in so far as that you start with a shape and you start carving away at it. Now what we can do is we can bring this down even one more. So it's really pointed and now we can bring this one down. And just like sculpting and carving, you're going to rethink certain things. And so there's no great plan here. This is just kind of eyeballing it to what I think looks right. There you go. Now, if you want, you could have the handle come out the top if you want to do that. So what we do is we'd make this. Well, we've got a couple blocks there, the spare. So let's click on block. It's already on brown. We can do attach. And let's see. By the way, this is something I, I forget to mention. The coordinates are down here in the lower left corner. So watch when I point. You can see it says X19, Y23. So you don't have to guess where where the, you know, I talk about saying you can eyeball this, whatever. You can actually see the coordinates if you care. So let's see if we can draw this the first time. Okay, so we said that this, so this is the y-axis here, so 30, oops, sorry, this is the um, traveling along the x-axis, so x20, so x20, and this is y41, okay, so z2, and this is Z3, so we want to start carving away, and I think we got it right the first time. And we can just bring that out one. So facing, attach, there you go. So now you got yourself a pickaxe. So that's about it. You can try to shrink this in a little bit more, but I think it would be challenging because this is already one block thick, so I'm not quite sure how you could make this thicker, uh, uh, thinner, and have it look right. So you certainly can try if you want. But I think that's about it for this tutorial, just a simple little pickaxe. And again, it's meant to be a starting point. You see how the tools can be used and how in combination they get certain effects. And then you can just take it from there and make something even better. I'll, I'll say it a million times, I am not an artist. I'm just here to let you know that these tools are out there, particularly when it comes to game development. I want you to know that these free to use tools are out there and see if that can help you with your game development efforts. So that should about do it for this video. I think what I'm going to do is I will eventually make an asset pack and put all these tools together. So it's going to be like a voxel Minecraft type asset pack. And that way, if you're making an, um, a, a voxel-based game, that it would give you a head start with all these pre-made tools. Okay, so that should about do it. If there's anything you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments. And I hope you found this useful, and I hope you have a good day.